Hello, and welcome to Droid Nuts TV. We are your hosts, guiding you through the latest news about the Android OS. The big news right now is the upcoming release of the new Android OS version 3.0, code named Honeycomb. The first device sporting this new OS will be a tablet named the Motorola Zoom. The rumored release date is February 17th, but the Motorola CEO recently said it will be late February or early March. The only reason I can think they would delay the release is they're hearing our complaints about not offering a Wi-Fi only model. Hopefully they're making some changes in the lineup to include this option. Yes, Motorola and Verizon are stupid to think we all want to sign another two-year data contract on top of our existing phone one. Plus if these tablets are not any cheaper than the iPad, the lame general public will just buy that instead. So hear us out Motorola. Offer a Wi-Fi only model and make it cheap. How else are you going to sell the 1 million units you requested for quarter one? Once the Zoom is released, expect a full review from us here at droidnuts.com. We will also provide some coverage of the Google Honeycomb event coming February 2nd. The 2011 Mobile World Congress is being held in Barcelona during Valentine's week. Here we should get some confirmation of Samsung's new Galaxy S2 and Galaxy Tab 2. Samsung better announce a dual-core model compatible with Verizon, because single-core just isn't good enough anymore. While we are on the subject of Samsung, they better ship their phones with at least Gingerbread OS. This whole ordeal about not updating phones better come to an end as well, or Samsung could face a huge backlash. LG should also be announcing some new phones at the show. Hopefully better than the lame revolution for Verizon that they announced at CES. If LG expects to gain any market share this year, then they better release a decent dual-core phone on Verizon as well. Preferably a phone that isn't trying to look exactly like the stupid iPhone. The screen bezel could be smaller as well. It's a shame to have such a great looking Nova LCD screen and have a gigantic void above and below it. That only reminds me of iPhone, and that is totally lame. Seeing how LG made the Retina display for Apple, they are probably too lazy to make a different design now. The HTC Thunderbolt is rumored to be released on February 24th. Its claim to fame will surely be the first 4G capable phone for Verizon. If 4G coverage was larger than a few downtown city blocks and the speeds were closer to what is being advertised as opposed to just being slightly faster than cable internet, I might be excited. If the price also rings in at $250, then count me out. My next phone will have a dual-core processor, at least gingerbread OS, and not be locked down like Motorola phones. Speaking of Motorola, their Atrix model looks like a powerhouse and will help AT&T get through a tough time while they mourn the loss of their beloved iPhone exclusivity. The Atrix is also rumored to be available for Verizon during quarter four of this year. I hope it will ship with the Honeycomb OS and not still be running Froyo. Knowing Motorola and that stupid blurry UI, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's hope Sprint has something to announce at MWC. They have been very quiet and didn't have anything to show at this year's CES. Come on Sprint, the Evo 4G is a nice phone but you can't possibly expect it to hold its popularity for this long. Get a new flagship phone already. One with dual core at least. As far as flagship phones are concerned, let's sum up the minimum specs for every carrier. Dual core processor, 1 gig of RAM, at least gingerbread OS, and unlocked bootloader. For a screen choice, I am partial to the Super AMOLED screen Samsung makes. And I really like the Nova LCD screen LG has. Either way, all carriers should check off all of these features before having the nerve to call their flagship phone, high-end. We've been looking at you, HTC, with your false tagline for the Thunderbolt. It's not your dream phone, it's the one after that. Wow, it sounds even more retarded when you say it out loud. Well, that's it for now. Check us out next week for more news and opinion on Droid Nuts TV. Hit the subscribe button if you like us or just go back to finding the news yourself if you don't. Bye bye.